Hello everybody, this is Elisha Keating from WisdomSeekers.net and this is my logo, Phoenix Rampant, Phoenix Rising. And this is for August 30th, 2023. We're almost in September. Yay, maybe. <laughs> it does feel that uh, the energy of the last few months will be a little more mellow. No, that's not right. Not mellow, more forward motion. So it might be just as intense, but we're going to move forward instead of sitting in, and being inconsistent energy. The energy in August has been totally inconsistent. Forward, stop, back, forward, sideways, etc., etc. It's not, it is not working comfortably for us. In fact, one day you sleep for 12 hours, the next day you get four hours of sleep and you're totally exhausted all day. No energy, and then some days too much energy. It's just and a lot of a lot of those little hooks that we haven't got rid of are coming up to the surface to be worked on. It's kind of bizarre, but it's that's a word I like, the word bizarre. That's why I use it. But it's not necessarily bad because we're given a fast forward and release the energy so because we can't take it with us so we've been doing this for a long long time learning how to release 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 and sometimes we take a long time to do it because believe it or not a lot of people like trauma drama they say they don't but they really do because it makes them feel alive while well, we're getting to the place where trauma dama has to be in the past it doesn't have to be you can keep it you can stay in the third it's it's totally up to you honestly or we can go okay got this what do i do it drop it do i have to know what it's about no but sometimes you do it, it things are inconsistent there's no cut and dry template for what we're doing right now one day we have to know everything, the next day we know nothing, and it's both are okay. All right, so the energy today is obviously tra traumatic or chaos because I woke up and uh, I had a lot of people ch chatting with me, telling me what's going on in their lives, and uh, uh, no, doesn't sound great, honestly. So hopefully tomorrow will be the to have the inconsistency of being in a good frame. We're almost finished uh, August. We're in Virgo. Season Virgo is more, less fiery, more, more contained, more what should we do with life, etc., etc. Anyhow, it uh, after the 15th, I think we'll find that things are starting to move more, more quickly, quick much more quickly than they have been. I saw saw with the inconsistency some days things would move forward and uh, that is the that's the energy that is coming to us but it, right now obviously it's not and uh, not totally it's getting there. I see things happening that are really positive. I see people being tested to make sure they've got through their their tests and the ones I'm talking to have, which is really positive, really good. All right, so for July, no, August 30th, 2023, the cards that came up first was the King of King of uh, Pentacles, and the King of Pentacles is in, as an energy is somebody who's confident and self self aware, knows exactly what he wants, doesn't care what society wants him to want. You sort of, you tell him, well, society says that you should do this. He, he'll kind of grunt at you and say, mm -hmm, I don't care. But what he wants, he knows what he wants. And that's what we want. We want to know what we want. We want to know what, and be comfortable in our own skins wanting what we want. Not go, well, I don't want what, I don't want to be married with three, 2.3 kids. 
and uh, and a uh, and a small house with a with a yard and that's all right maybe it's you want to be married or pardon me you want to be in a relationship that is totally committed living out in the boonies on a homestead so that's atypical but you want to do it because you want to do it because that's your passion and maybe instead of 2.3 kids you'll have five or six kids because you just love having kids all right so what you want is what you want if it lines up with society fine if it doesn't line up with society fine to get that you have to this is the four of pentacles you have to and you never have to do anything that's a choice but you do want to not and the word is not be rigid you don't have to you don't want to worry about where the money's coming because you're going to believe in magic. Magic is the end all, the be all for uh, that we're aiming for because magic, anything can happen. You can It can happen as you think it should or it can happen that it comes out of left field and you go, wow, where did that come from? But I like it. All right, so the truth is don't be rigid in your thinking if you want to be high, move into the higher dimensions. You do have Ace of Wands, of course you do. A lot of support. Right now, we probably, in the general rule, everybody comes down, they have like three guides, angels, guides, whatever you want to call them. As a general rule, I suspect people who are coming in now and working with the energies to sustain the energies they have maybe up to eight or more working guides at one moment don't forget to ask for help don't forget to talk to them why because it's still a free will universe we have not moved out of free will we are still in free will you cannot do they will not do anything unless you specifically say hey help me how you help me I don't care just make it work for me please because yeah, I always recommend you be be positive etc etc again like I said you have a lot of support the Knight of Cups but the most important thing about the Knight of Cups is yes it is support from outside of you but trust in yourself support yourself work with yourself know your value and if you belittle your value, then you lose part of your part of your ability to deal and work the thing with. You've got if you've got a vessel that's a hundred percent full, and somebody comes along and says, "Wow, that's really wonderful. You're really great. You're really awesome." Don't go, "Oh no, 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 no." Go, "Yes, thank you. I appreciate that," because with you have a hundred percent value. And you want to acknowledge it. You want to acknowledge it a hundred percent. If it's only seventy-five percent, that's a different, different answer. And you say, "I'm there, almost there. I still have a little bit to go before it's completely full." But I thank you so much for, for your evaluating me because I know th that I uh, am working towards that value. And if your head gets fat, again, you take the information, you put it into the ground because we do walk the wire's edge or the, the blade edge, whatever it's called. I know it's not quite that. But we do walk the razor's edge and that is what makes it difficult for us and it also makes it real for us. So as long as we walk the razor's edge, acknowledge the the truth when it's the truth and don't allow our ego to go oh you're so wonderful you can do more than anybody else because of course we can't we are part of a whole so when we can do something wonderful being part of the whole that affects everybody and with we can do 75 percent of it there is the rest of it who's out there to support you so you get to a hundred percent 
And yes, we do want to get to 100% because that's our job. How are we going to support ourselves? How are we going to support the Earth to move up into a higher energy? And uh, it is by accepting ourselves fully, accepting those around us as well, and accepting those who haven't got a clue with grace and aplomb. All right? And that's the secret. Love everybody. Don't have to have them in your life. Boundaries are a thing. But you accept them for who they are at the level they're at. Because one day, they're going to be where you are. But it might take 20,000 lifetimes. Not your problem. All right? Okay. Love you. Namaste. Namasco. Love you and you. I do love you. Bye.